Okay, in this section we're going to look at our sum and difference formulas. We're only going to look at them for sine, cosine, and for tangent. We're not going to look at them for the other uh, three trig functions, cosecant and cotangent, those. We're only going to look at uh, sine, cosine, tangent. So here's the formulas listed for each one. Now what the idea here is, is you're taking something where you have two angles being added together and you're converting it over into single angles. So it may look like you're making the problem more complicated by expanding it out, but in actuality, in purposes for calculus, you may want to have something to be in single angles to make the calculus operation easier. So that's actually what the purpose of these formulas are. Uh, now I have a unit circle down here that's drawn as well, and we're going to do that for a couple of examples in this section. It may ask you to find exact value, like for instance, we have a 3 pi over 2 here that's going to come up later. So we have all our uh, angles around here at zero, 0 and 2 pi, pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2. So the problem that you'll get in this section, the first couple you'll have will look like uh, this, where it'll just say you're gonna, you want to simplify that expression. So what the way these formulas work is you can actually start with either end. You can either start with the left-hand side and go to the right-hand side, or you can start with the right-hand side and go to the left-hand side, and we'll look at examples uh, that do both of those. In this case, we're starting with the left-hand side. We want to take this out and expand it to uh, the right-hand side. So what I see here is this is uh, x and y. Okay. Whenever you have a minus sign, the one that comes in front of the minus must always be your x. That's the only way the formula is going to work. So the idea here is I'm going to use, I have to use the second formula because I notice I have a, a sign with two things being subtracted. And I'm just going to span all that out based on this. So that means I'm going to do sine of x, and x here is 3 pi over 2. And then I have cosine y, that's our theta. And then we're going to do minus cosine 3 pi over 2. And then sine y, which is going to be our sine theta. So we're done using the sum and difference formulas and we have this. But now we have sine and 3 pi over 2 and cosine 3 pi over 2. We need to get the exact values uh, for both of these. In order to do that, we need to have our uh, unit circle right here. So for sine 3 pi over 2, that's 3 pi over 2 is actually down here. And the x value is always your cosine. The y value is always going to be your sine. So at that angle of 3 pi over 2, I want sine 3 pi over 2. That means I want the negative 1 that comes from there because that's in the, the y position. So I'm going to put a negative 1 into, into there because that's the exact value for sine 3 pi over 2. Next, I want to put in a value for cosine 3 pi over 2. The cosine is the x value. In this case, it's going to be 0. So I have 0 times sine theta, and that whole part's going to actually just end up canceling out. So my final answer for this is going to be negative cosine theta. What that means is that this whole entire expression here can be simplified down into just simply negative cosine theta.